Hi, I'm in Vancouver, Canada, um, and I've got a Ho tube amp. Um, we're talking about uh, Ho's Electronics in Vancouver, Canada. Uh, Ho's pretty popular for his uh, Ho attenuator, which has been rebranded, uh, I think, as the ultimate attenuator. Um, but uh, Ho makes that attenuator, he makes amps as well. And uh, you know, Ho's been an amp tech in Vancouver and uh, modding people's amps for years. He's a he's a, a friendly, amiable guy. He he works pretty fast, and uh, you know, he's it's not so much the aesthetic. You can see it's a pretty no frills little thing. Um, but uh, being an amp tech, you know, he's he's thinking this is more geared toward towards tone hounds, and uh, uh, you know, that's his main concern. Um, I, I'll put throw up his uh, phone number, his email, or something on this as well, so you, you know about that. Um, I'll, I'll zoom in on it a little bit too, so you can uh, see it a little better. Uh, you've got your guitar input here. You've got a preamp in here. So if you want to bypass the preamp stage and plug in your own, uh, you know, plug in your pod or something, you can do that. When you plug into that preamp, it, it bypasses the bass and the treble. Um, and then you've got volume, treble, bass, and this actually isn't a master volume. He's built his Ho attenuator right into it. So you can crank this thing up and then uh, you attenuate wide open, it's, it's pretty loud, it's 30 watts and 8 ohms and it's a loud 30 watts. But then you can attenuate the volume and uh, he's well known for his attenuator, it's pretty transparent sounding which you'll hear when I demo it for you. Because I'll probably have to use that to keep the volume in my house down a little bit. Um, inside there it's got a 12AX7 and two ECL82s. Um, what else? Yeah, it's, so it's it's 30 watts into 8 ohms. Um, it's actually, because it's got that attenuator, it doesn't need an ohmage selector switch uh, for plugging into different cabinets. Like it'd be 40 watts into 4 ohms or 25 watts into 16 ohms. So that's pretty handy too. Um, and I can't remember if I mentioned, yeah, it's got the little switch for a, a little uh, upper mid boost as well. So... Um, yeah, it's a great amp. It's five hundred dollars, and uh, that's dirt cheap for for like getting that old kind of Marshall sound. And uh, you know, if you want to shred or something, you can plug your own uh, uh, preamp into there, or your pod or something or whatever. But I'm going to show you how uh, it's very touch sensitive, like those old amplifiers. Uh, uh, when you turn the volume down, it's really clean. When you crank it up, it starts to break up a little under halfway. <laughs> And, uh, but when you back off your picking, uh, pick a little lighter or back off the volume, it, it, it cleans up really nicely. So I'm going to, I'm going to just, I don't have the ideal setup here. I've just got a condenser microphone about 15 inches in front of an old Marshall cabinet, but, um, you know, you'll get an idea what it sounds like anyways. And, uh, if you contact Ho, he's a, he's an amiable guy and he'll, uh, you know, he can put a, an effects loop in here. I think he said for a hundred bucks more, he'll even put like a, an input directly to the attenuator so that you can use it as with another amplifier as an attenuator, as well as an amplifier itself. So, uh, you know, you, you really can't go wrong. I've got an orange tiny tear and this thing, it's, it's not even in the same league as this thing. If you want that, uh, if you're after that sought after kind of, uh, old tone and that touch sensitivity. So I'll give you a little demo just so you can hear what it sounds like. 